हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल दिस इज पार्ट टू ऑफ बेस्ट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस ऑन स्टैटिक टाइम एनालिसिस वीडियो सीरीज इन पार्ट वन आई आस्क यू वन क्वेश्चन एंड इट्स रिस्पांस वाज ओवरवेलमिंग मेनी ऑफ यू ट्राई टू आंसर इट इन दिस वीडियो आई वांट टू डिस्कस सम ऑफ द सोल्यूशन गिवन बाई यू पीपल ऑनली एंड नाउ विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट एस गेट स्टार्ट एंड सी वट इज इंटरेस्टिंग इन दिस वीडियो friends before discussing the solution given by many of the viewers let us see what was a problem statement so this was a logic design and in our part 1 we figure out that the maximum frequency of operation is 83.3 megahertz so that means this circuit cannot operate more than 83.3 megahertz but our requirement is we want to operate this design at 150 megahertz so approximate period is 6.6 nanosecond so these were the parameters t setup t hold and propagation delay of all the flip flops used now the question was what change you will recommend in this design so that its functionality should be intact and this logic should be able to operate at 150 megahertz now let us discuss some of the most commonly given answers and solutions so this is one of the most commonly given solution so many of the viewers suggested that we should use a pipeline between the multiplier and this summation logic so we have to put two flops one between this multiplier and summation another one between these two now with this what will be our maximum operating frequency let us see what will be the t minimum t minimum will be tcq of this first flip flop this combination delay tcq is 1 Plus five plus setup of this flip flop. That means seven, seven nanosecond. There, there exists multiple paths. For example, this flip flop to flip flop path, this flip flop to flip flop path, this flip flop to flip flop path. But all the paths have equal delays, so any path can be considered as critical path. So each path has seven nanosecond of t minimum. So f maximum is equal to one by t minimum, one by seven nanosecond. f max max if you calculate it, it will become 140.85 megahertz so this is good friends if you notice the flip flop to flip flop path has only one combination logic that is 5 nanosecond and there is no provision to divide it further so if this is 1 nanosecond that is tcq this is 5 nanosecond and setup is 1 nanosecond t minimum cannot be less than 7 nanosecond and this thing one of the viewer also pointed thank you so much for pointing out so that means if it is 7 nanosecond then f maximum cannot be more than 142.85 megahertz this is clear and i agree with that actually while giving the problem statement i gave i committed one mistake the t setup hold and tcq i gave 1 nanosecond in fact it is 0.5 nanosecond please make this correction so friends after making this correction let us try to recalculate t minimum t minimum will be tcq of this flip flop which is 0.5 then this multiply delay that is 5 nanosecond so 6 and setup of the flip flop this is 0.5 this will become 6 5 plus 1 6 nanosecond so you can calculate f max which is 1 by t minimum 1 by 6 nanosecond so f maximum will be 166.66 megahertz which is quite more than 150 megahertz but friends your answer is not correct with pipeline architecture you can operate your design at frequency which is more than 150 megahertz in fact it can operate at 166.66 megahertz but your answer is not correct friends now the question arises why the answer is not correct because friends whenever we apply a b c d after latency of two clock cycles it is expected to get the value of y but if you introduce pipeline registers pipeline stages then this latency becomes 3 which is not acceptable we have broken the functionality so we need to make a change in such a way that its functionality is intact so whenever a b c d is applied after two clock cycles y should be obtained even if we get y after one clock cycle that is also not acceptable we are not authorized to change the functionality of the design so please rethink with the correct values of setup hold and tcq 
and if something comes to your mind please write it down in the comment section otherwise i will the real solution in the next video friends with this i am going to end this video i hope that this video will be quite informative for all of you if you also like this video please press the like button and share your feedback in the comment section and in future also we are going to create many such videos so to be aligned with our channel don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos thank you so much for watching and your time